Hello everybody, um, it's been a while since I uh, last made a video, um, I've got an assistant this time, my son who is behind the camera so I'm, I'm hopeful he'll do a little bit better than I. Um, we recently returned from Scotland for the second time in just a couple of months and uh, I went with my son, uh, just, just my son and myself and we, we were able to um, uh, because we didn't have the ladies with us um, to visit a few more battlefields than usual. Um, I, I'm talking of the earlier Bannockburn, um, of course, which is quite nicely laid out. And uh, you see one of my earlier videos. So the National Trust for Scotland uh, has done quite a lot of work there anyway. Um, the two lesser um, developed battlefields developed from a point of view of um, visitor attractions um, Killy Cranky which is um, you know an area of great natural beauty um, I, I, I couldn't really make out the battlefield it's 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 very much um, in these gorges and um, it's famous for the soldiers leap where one of the government soldiers is said to have jumped in his haste to get away from the Jacobites. This is all the earlier Jacobite rebellions of 1689 and um, 1719 uh, in the case of Glenshill, which was uh, further up we never got to, but it's that earlier Jacobite period which is receives slightly less attention. Um, having said that, the first book I'm gonna show you is the um, I am minded to rise, the clothing, weapons and accoutrements of the Jacobites in Scotland. And that is from the 1689-1719 period. Um, it's, it's actually really quite nice, a lot of information. I'm going to go straight to the colour section. Um, I guess there's no point in actually uh, just showing you pages of text. But the, uh, the artwork... Um, is it, it looks uh, straight out of uh, Osprey. Um, there's some there's some good uh, artwork there actually from the uh, as I say the government side here 1689. Um, you know it's that it falls in between that period of um, I think you could say the Civil War up until when uh, Marlborough had his uh, great victories. It's a sort of um, I don't want to say a watershed, but it's um, it's a slightly uh, a backwater, I would say. It, it doesn't attract the attention of obviously the the forty five or the American Revolution that came afterwards. This is a Spanish infantryman as he would have appeared at Glen Shield, which again is um, fairly remote but fairly well um, supported by the National Trust. Um, there's there's some walls still in situ that the Spanish troops built uh, towards the end of the battle and um, quite well well ordered sign posts there so uh, that's one I'm going to visit a uh, number of standards here all in all uh, although th thin but um, very nicely illustrated um, book uh, the other one um, I've got some other books to show you but the uh, army of this this is the century of the soldier series um as i say it's um i think it's by the same publishers it's, it's helium actually the publisher but um it seems very similar to the format of osprey but it goes into greater detail this is the army of james ii uh in the period that we're concerned about round right about the, the time of the first Jacobite um, wars. The artwork in this book is, um, well, I don't know what you think. There's, there's a number of um, paintings showing officers and uh, commanders. Uh, the actual artwork um, is a little bit more, I mean, I wouldn't like to say primitive because I could, couldn't do it, but um, it's a little bit more basic, shall we say. Um, it's a little bit less skilled than the, uh, the other book. Um, again, it's, it's very detailed. There's a few reenactor photographs there. But all in all, 
not a bad book on a on a fairly rare subject. Uh, the other the other books are uh, Killy Cranky, sixteen eighty nine. And um, this one, I think it's got, uh, no, it's got absolutely no photographs at all. It is by Stuart Reed, who's uh, quite well known for, for this period. And um, around about that period for the British Army. And uh, the other one, uh, Sheriff Muir, which was, uh, if, if you do look at my uh, earlier video you will find it, it's, it is a very undeveloped uh, art there, there's no relevant pictures there but um, or relevant to the battlefield precisely but uh, Sheriff Muir is um, a little bit out of the way uh, we visited it and um, very little there in terms of interpretation uh, other books that I purchased in respect of this subject um, Got a book on the Battle of the Boyne, which is, um, you know, one which I hadn't touched upon for, for many a year. This is a, an Osprey campaign. Um, quite lovely artwork. Um, some nice pictures in there and uh, a lot of information. Um, I've, I've not really touched upon Ireland before at this time, but, um, you know, it always seemed very melancholy. Uh, <laughs> subject given what what was to come in the centuries afterwards but um very interesting nevertheless uh, some photographs of the battlefield today and um i i, I would uh, i would rate this one quite highly um final book is um standard osprey men at arms um british army 1660 to 1704 and this is uh, by Jerry Embleton and um, let's get to the uh, colour pictures. The colour plates are uh, no problem with these at all. I mean, these are these are absolutely uh, beautiful in their in their style. Um, showing the, the the British Army um, while well, it was essentially the English Army. Um, the, the Scots not coming obviously until the Union. Um, 10 years or so, 15 years or so later, but um, some very nice uh, pictures there. Now, um, I, I to, to go with this, I actually purchased from uh, Front Rank. I'll, I'll show you a representation of them, but uh, I picked up um, some Front Rank figures, which are absolutely exquisite. Uh, this is an officer doffing his cap. And um, I, I'd recently gone up to 54 millimeter because I was uh, suffering from a, a, a bit of uh, shaky hands and um, I, I feel I lost it a little bit. I, I'm not a great painter, but I, I, I feel I was better than I was, uh, I was producing recently and um, yeah, took a bit of therapy by going to 54. Now I've actually gone back to um, the 28 millimeter front rank as i say and um these are uh, these are quite exquisite figures um i'm going to show you um i mean there's a dragoon horse they are, they are absolutely lovely i mean i love these castings um i mean i've been told by others that front rank is a is a very very good company and so they seem this is a uh, a scottish uh, musketeer of the 1680s um, he would do for the Battle of Dunkeld where the um, Cameronians or the regiment that became the Cameronians Scottish Rifles um, defended the town against uh, Jacobites they're um, they're absolutely superb in detail I mean a little uh, drummer there you know the wide brim hats are, are quite striking and um yeah I, I i actually love them i'll just show you one more now this is um this is going to be uh another officer oh, actually, actually let me show you uh a grenadier in a uh in a cloth cap with the uh really the uh, the grenade is a proper uh 
almost cannonball with a, a few sticking out of it you know it's, it's properly in one of those um cartoon kind of <laughs> devices that you see uh wily e coyote throwing at the road runner but um that apparently is how they started off but a lovely figure again uh, a lot of detail well balanced i just i just love the poses anyway i've i've bought a number of those uh, invested in those um but what i was going to show you mainly was the uh, the 54 millimeter uh, i've previously done some seventh cavalry um by waterloo 1815 and um you, you said some very kind things about them i i couldn't get any uh, opposition to those from from waterloo at this point but i managed to pick up some uh, from drum and flag some 54 millimeter uh toy soldiers of san diego or tssd as they're known and um I've uh, just got to the point of uh, basically um, giving them a wash. Um, I, I've got some of the quite striking um, painted facial detail from uh, the Osprey books, the, the sewer on the plains, and uh, warriors at uh, the Little Bighorn. And um, they, they took quite a while to do. I've been quite pleased with the... Uh, the look of them as i say the um the the paint uh, on their faces it all denotes different um characteristics of the warrior whether it whether he was uh, had, had killed people before or he was known for his wisdom or he was known for um you know particular savagery but um it all meant something uh i i've actually uh Finished, uh, I think there's uh, four, eight, nine, ten, twelve. As I said, they need a bit of a wash on, and um, this one is particularly striking. Um, I wasn't sure it was going to work at first, but um, this is one that cropped up in the books again and again a, a white face, which um, you know I thought was particularly. Uh, good I, I i managed to to get what i thought was a fairly suitable um indian um red skin as it were um you know it, it, it looks right anyway to my eye that was a mixture of um colors uh wood grain and uh natural flesh and um yeah i was i was kind of uh pleasantly surprised by how they turned out and um you know, with a bit of a wash on there, that will tone everything down. And um, as I said, I did that as a bit of therapy in order to um, to try and get my uh, my mojo back, as they say. And um, taking some medication for multiple health problems, diabetes, and all of these things. And <laughs> I found that as a result of something in in some of the medications, anyway. I was getting a slight hand tremor and um, obviously when you're doing this sort of thing it, <laughs> it's not entirely helpful and um, I'm not great to start with so it was it was certainly not helping me but um, that seems to have worked uh, hands have settled down a bit and um, as I say we'll make a start uh, on the other figures and show you them uh, at a later date um, the only other thing I was going to show you is a very random item I'm not usually uh, interested in uh, Dungeons and Dragons stuff. This was reduced recently to $7.99 in my local Smith's toy shop. And it's um, a cast red dragon with four um, figures. I think there's a, uh, an adventurer, a dwarf. Um, I mean, it's, those of you who are full of these um, Lord of the Rings type shows will probably be able to identify them but i thought it looked so nice i just had to have it so i'll, I'll just throw that in randomly it's not really a war game well related item as such but um got got that and um some cheap or cheaper paint brushes which seem to be quite serviceable um you know f for me they they seem to be good for blocking in colors and um 
Yeah, I'm uh, up and running at the moment, and uh, as I say, looking forward to getting to the 28 millimeter. So um, I've been watching all your videos and enjoying them, and uh, I hope to um, I, I hope to update you soon. But thank you for listening, anyway. Cheerio.